Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. Every December, I make a video about Not Forgotten, which is an orphanage I work with in Peru. And a lot of you guys support the orphanage in Peru through Patreon. Um, I, I want to give you an update on what's been going on. But uh, for those of you that don't know, Not Forgotten is a holistic family-centered approach to an orphanage. Um, it's a family, right? We have these these little bungalows, and each bungalow has a host parent set in it, and all these boys live in each one of these little uh, little houses. And they have brothers, they have parents, they have pets. I mean, it's like a normal family environment. And the whole idea is to simply break the cycle of abandonment. This year, I want to explain what we did that's really different. The board, which I'm not a part of, but the board elected to try to invest in the education for the boys in a really interesting way. They live in Iquitos, which is a city of 400,000, which is isolated. The only way you can get there is by plane or by boat. So they don't see a whole lot. These boys, they have a world that's very, you know, right there where they're at, and they don't know a lot about the rest of the world. So the board decided to send them on a trip. This is a very big deal because these boys have never even been around an airplane or anything like that. So they decided to invest in their education by sending them to Lima, Peru, the capital of Peru, for several reasons. There are four reasons that are stated for the purpose of the trip. Number one, to give them a sense of a larger world. Number two, help them bond closer as a family. Number three, teach them to dream big. And four, teach them what hard work can accomplish. And the trip totally accomplished that. The boys got to go on an airplane to Lima, which is a big deal because these guys have like seen airplanes in the sky, but they've never had an opportunity to ride one. I mean, they're, you know, they, they lived on the streets not long ago. So this is a really big deal. Here's Edvin and he's explained how it's a mixture of fear and excitement. They started off the trip by going to the commercial center of Lima. They ate fried chicken and they went to a movie. And while in Lima, they visited the presidential palace, the museums and the national cathedral, the zoo, and of course the national soccer stadium. The boys also went to see the ocean and they were amazed by the vastness of the sea and the saltiness of the water. They had a bonfire one night and I don't have video of that. This is all cell phone footage, obviously. But they talked about their dreams uh, together and they said, well, if you want to be this kind of person, if you want to do this in your life, what do you do? What steps do you take to accomplish that dream? They visited a university. It's like an agricultural university where they work with plants and things of that nature. And this is huge because I remember I didn't even know the word engineer until I was, you know, in the later years of high school. But once I knew what it was and like people had the ability to do that, then I could see a path where I could get there. And that's the whole point of this trip. We wanted them to see professionals uh, doing things and let them know that yes, you too can do this thing. You just have to set a goal and, and start working along the path. I got quotes here from the kids. These are great. All right, listen to this. Do you think this trip helps you? Yes, because I could meet and see things that I thought were not in Peru, such as escalators. Christian says, yes, it helps me to know how people live in another place. Mario says, I thought the seawater was sweet, but when the wave came, it made me drink the water and it was salty. That's awesome because he discovered what seawater tasted like on his own. Like, that wasn't a conversation for him. He experienced that. That's wonderful. Jack said, I like the campfire meeting because everyone talked about what they wanted to do in the future and what they should do to achieve those dreams and how we should work for our dreams. That's the point. It worked. Like he gets it, he understands, and he understands that those dreams can be bigger than what he has just seen around him. So I'm so happy about that. He goes on to talk about the marine biologist that gave him a tour at the university and how that was awesome and how she achieved her dreams. Andy said, we went to the university and I could see that the milk comes from the cow. I did not believe this, but they taught us how to process it. I learned how plants are studied and cared for. He didn't know where milk comes from. <laughs> It's so awesome. I love this. Okay, and uh, here lastly, here's another one. Uh, did it help you? Yes, because it teaches me that I should take advantage of the opportunities I have. That's huge. And um, right now, I'm gonna give you two opportunities to help if you're into this sort of thing. Number one, you can help Not Forgotten by going to the Project for Awesome website and voting for Not Forgotten. Every year, we we team up with the Project for Awesome and I try to raise money in a live stream here. And uh, hopefully if we get enough votes on that, we can get some of that money diverted to Not Forgotten. Also, um, if you want to support on Patreon, that would be rad. Uh, since 2012, we watched this be built and it's working. Like these boys, 
they went from the place that we saw them, this, you know, the streets, and we're seeing them develop and mature and become fruitful members of society. It's huge, and the key is education there. So if you are interested in partnering with Not Forgotten, please go to patreon.com slash notforgotten and consider joining up with what we're doing. Um, a lot of people just give one or two dollars a month. That's awesome. The goal is to get all of our operations covered by Patreon. We're not quite there yet. Um, but it's, it's, it's in the future. We can see that it, it might happen. So we're excited about that. So patreon.com slash not forgotten. That's a big thing. If you give above a certain level, then this is the third year for patches. So we're going to send you a patch. Anyway, I really appreciate all the support through the years. Every December I make a video about this. And I know it's, it's kind of strange for a lot of people. But it, it's near and dear to my heart. It means a lot. So thank you for your continued support of Not Forgotten at Patreon. And that's it. I'm Destin. You're getting smarter every day. Have a good one. Bye.